take one. Action! Hang on one second, it was all a dream. The end. Uh, welcome, movie lovers. I'm Luke Franks, and this is Mini Movies, the show where you are the stars. Here's what's coming up. I'll be showing you how to get super smooth video shots in our masterclass. You'll be playing with fire in You've Been Movied. We'll create our own laser swords in the Mini Movies Make. And we'll watch your homemade animations in our spectacular showcase. But before all that, it's time for the part of the show where I reveal what happens when you send your home videos into the Mini Movies team and we work our incredible visual effects magic. Yes, get your popcorn ready because it's time for our first Mini Movies premiere. <laughs> Oh yes, and this premiere stars... Right, uh, and this premiere... Okay, we good? Good. And... and this premiere stars talented twins Jack and Lily from West Sussex. Let's say hello. Jack and Lily, hiya! Hello! Nice to meet you. So you two made an awesome home video that you sent into our mini movies team and then our visual effects artists have turned it into a proper movie trailer. We can't wait. Oh, me neither. I'm excited to see it as well. Um, so before we watch it, how fun was it making the trailer? It was really fun. We were like practicing and practicing and practicing all the time, like we're trying to see if the shots were right and stuff like that. So it was like we were actually in like well, we were actually acting in front of everyone. It was so cool. Oh, good. I'm glad you had a good time making that. That's so cool. Have you got any snacks ready for your trailer? Because that's quite important, isn't it? Popcorn. Bowl of popcorn. Awesome. Love that. Do you want to try one? Just check it's all good and you're happy with the popcorn as well? Yeah. It's not poisonous. Not poisonous. <laughs> good news. Good news. Is it delicious? Yeah. Yes. In which case, let's watch Help Dad's a Dino. Here we go. For one family, this summer is going to be dynamite. <gasps> it's the summer holidays. Yes. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Woo. Because when Dad discovers a new cereal, Dad, what's that you're eating? Dino pops. He discovers it has extra bite. Dad, can we play football? Yeah, in a minute. That can't be good. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? Probably your dad cut himself shaving. In a race against time. We need to find dad. Let's split up. Dad, dad. These tearaway twins will discover... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, we're twins. I'm always thinking what you're thinking. That not all families are the same. Hey, kids. I've got something to tell you. <laughs> what, what is, is it? it? It's your dad. He's, um, turned into a dinosaur. Hi, kids. No! Starring Lily. Revelation, also starring Jack. Incredible. Come on, Dad, keep up. Yeah, come on, Smoke. Hey. Wait for me! Featuring Academy Award nominee, Mum. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bag. And introducing Dad as Dino Dad. Kids! Jack and Lily, where are you? Has anyone seen my phone charger? Kids, where are you? You think he saw us? <laughs> Sometimes the unexpected. Is better than you could have imagined. Such a sore loser. A dinosaur loser. <laughs> Help! Dad's a dino! Mom, Granny's here! Coming soon. Woo! Ah, that was brilliant. What did you 
did you guys think? It was amazing. Yeah, that was really cool. Love that. Great acting as well. Well done, you. Uh, brilliant. What was your favourite bit? My favourite bit was probably where, when we had to pick up the dinosaur poo and also there was this one bit where we ran down the stairs and it was kind of, we were like, because our banister has like, um, rails on it so it's kind of difficult to spill my feet so we had to keep going and over and over and over and doing it so that was fun oh good so you worked hard making it as well yeah well done um jack did you have a favorite bit i, I like the bit where at the end of it where um, we said mom granny's here and then it was just a really like tall t-rex yeah because we that didn't was really cool yeah because we didn't know what um granny was gonna look like so they made it their own it was so cool Ah, oh, that's so good. It had everything, didn't it? It's got drama, action, comedy, dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I, I was a really big fan. And um, how would you rate mum and dad's acting? What would you give mum out of 10? 10. 10. 10. Well done, mum. Mummy, happy with that? Yep. Yep, well done. Thanks, mum. Um, and how about dad as dino? What, what would you give him? Incredible. 10. 10. 10, there we go. We can write that on the, on the reviews. Brilliant. And also, you were good at acting, but I heard that you did the design for the Dino Serial, right? Did you? Yeah. Oh. Best artist in town. <laughs> Love it. So both multi-talented. That's so cool. All right. And did anything go wrong when you were making the film? Because sometimes behind the scenes, a few things kind yeah. of get a bit tricky. Oh, yeah. So when we when we filmed the scene where we were running away from um, Dad, he, well, I kind of fell over because the grass was wet. Oh. When I stopped, I slipped over and landed on my bum. Oh no, oh dear, okay. And have you uh, been bitten by the movie-making bug now? Do you think you'd like to make more? Yes, yes. we would love it. It's yeah. really fun. All right, well, you were so brilliant. Thanks so much for doing it. And I'm sure we'll see you in, in a film one day we soon. Will. Good stuff. All right, thanks, Jack and Lily. <laughs> Thank Bye. You. Bye. 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 How brilliant were Jack and Lily? And how amazing were those visual effects? Now, visual effects, or VFX, as they're called in the movie biz, are created by very talented people using fancy computers and special software. It can take hours, days, weeks, and sometimes even months to get just one shot to look right. To show you how hard the job of a VFX artist is, we've got an exclusive behind the scenes look at how we brought one of my favorite scenes in Help, Dad's a Dino to life. Here it is. Dad, Dad. So that's what the scene looks like, but how did we do it? Well, the first VFX was making a bin. You what? Uh, you heard me right. Our VFX geniuses had to make another bin because there was only one and we needed two. Visual effects aren't always about explosions and spaceships. Sometimes it's about creating normal things. We needed another bin, so we copied the bin that was there and put it in shot. Ta-da! Two bins. We knew a dinosaur would be lifting up the lid of the bin, but how does a fake dino lift the lid of a real bin? Simple, just like that. And then our visual effects team had to cover up Dad's arm. How cool is that? And it goes to show that visual effects aren't always about adding new things in, sometimes it's about taking things away. So now the exciting bit, adding in the dinosaur. Sometimes VFX artists make things from scratch, but for this scene, we found a 3D dinosaur model online and used that. Can you see the problem though? The dinosaur isn't in the bin. Remember earlier when we had to make two bins? Well, we used the exact same trick here. We copied the front of the bin and added this copy on top of our dinosaur. Hey presto, Dino Dad is in the bin. And there you go, VFX artists, we salute you. Now it's time for a mini movies masterclass where you get killer ideas to make your videos worthy of a big screen release. <music> movies are full of very smooth, very steady shots. The camera might be moving, but it doesn't bump up and down or jiggle around at all. Next time you watch a movie, keep an eye out and you'll see that these smooth shots are everywhere. Movies achieve these smooth shots by using very expensive equipment called dollies, which are kind of like a roller coaster or train track for the camera. And that's what we're using here in the studio. Let's have a look. As you can see, our camera person, Jacob, is slowly pushing the camera along the track towards me, getting that nice, steady shot. If you don't have a dolly and have to hold the camera, any movements you make travel through your body, along your arms, into your hands, causing the camera to shake like this. <clears throat> so when my body moves, so does the camera as well. Uh, Jacob, do you want to show them what it would look like without the dolly? So now Jacob has to hold the camera as he moves. Let's see how he does. 
As you can see, every time Jacob takes a step, the movement wobbles up his body and shakes the camera. It's pretty off-putting. The good news is, though, you don't need to save up your pocket money for an expensive dolly because the Mini Movies team have got you covered and can show you how to get these smooth shots without spending a penny. And let's pay a visit to the Mini Movies masters for some top tips. Top tip number one, where to find the dolly. Here we can see my Mini Master is trying to film a moving shot, but when she walks, her hands shake and so does the camera, making the video very wobbly. They need a dolly, but how do they get one? Well, if you have something with wheels, then you can use it as a dolly. Is this a wheelie chair? No, it's a dolly. Is this a bike? No, it's a dolly. Is this a skateboard? No, it's a dolly. Is this a dolly? Well, yeah, it is a dolly actually, but not the right kind of dolly. Top tip number two, find a smooth surface. It could be a laminated floor or a dining room table or a kitchen worktop or a flat pavement. To get your smoothest shot, you'll need your dolly to be on a floor or surface that is as level as possible, so have a hunt for somewhere with no lumps or bumps. Top tip number three, how to attach your camera. If you have a tiny tripod, then you can use that to hold your phone steady on your dolly. If you don't have a tiny tripod, don't worry though, you could just rest it against something or make something for it to sit in. Another way to attach your camera is with elastic bands, string or tape. Just make sure it's nice and secure before you start filming. You don't want this to happen. Another way is to sit on your dolly and hold the camera very still and steady. Top tip number four, push very gently. Now your dolly is set up and ready to go, push it along very gently to film your dolly shot. Awesome. Super awesome! Incredible! So there we go, super simple, super smooth shots without the aggro. Just make sure your wheels are clean. Who's made the table dirty? <gasps>you see a character in a movie pick something up or use and interact with something that item is called a prop it could be a football a pen some keys or even food today we're gonna to be making a really cool prop and one that you've probably seen in a lot of movies I'm talking about a laser sword so let's get cracking in three two one action step one making the handle or to use the proper term, the hilt. Take a kitchen roll tube that's ready for recycling and ask an adult to help you carefully draw and cut a curve out of the top. Then take a recycled toilet roll, cut it in half and then round off the corners on each half. Step two, creating the grip. Take a piece of thick card and cut out 10 small strips which are all about the same length and width. Ours are about 10 centimetres long and one centimetre wide. Also, take a piece of corrugated card, that's the card that has a wavy pattern on it, and cut two strips which are long enough to go all the way around your hilt. Step three, adding colour. To give your tube a shiny metal finish, paint it silver. It doesn't have to be silver though, you can paint it any colour you like. Also, paint the grip pieces. We've chosen black, which will go well with silver. 
Step four, joining it all together. When all your pieces are dry, it's time to glue them all together with PVA glue or a glue stick. Take the grip pieces of card and glue them around the bottom of the large tube. The first strip of corrugated card attaches all the way around the bottom of the grip pieces. Your second strip of corrugated card is attached all the way around the top of the grip pieces. If it's too long, you can snip off any excess cardboard. Glue small squares of cardboard, about the size of a stamp, onto the inside of the half toilet roll tubes. These will help you glue them onto the top of the kitchen roll, where the curved end is. Step 5. On-Off Button You now need a button that can be used to turn the laser sword on. Take a cap from a drinks bottle, dip the edges into PVA glue and stick it to your hilt, wherever you would like the button to be. If you don't have a drinks lid, you could use a painted circle of cardboard. Step 6. The Laser If you really want to take it to the next level, take the long cardboard tube from some wrapping paper, paint it the colour of your choice and slide it into your hilt. If you have some battery operated fairy lights, you could even wrap those around it and hide the battery pack down the tube. And there you go, your very own laser sword. And it's as easy as that. Oh, cool. Here at Mini Movies, we love animation, whether it's 3D made on a computer, hand drawn, clay models, or even real people. By the looks of things, you love it too, because we've been inundated with your animated masterpieces. And here are some of our favorites. mini movie animators they were incredible it's time once again for the part of the show where we reveal what happens when you send your home videos to the mini movies trailer making team yes it's time for another premiere oh yes and this premiere so... okay i know what's going on okay and the premiere stars the Heroic, Pretty day, in Crawley. Simple, let's say hello. Hi, Rene. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, so very excited to see your trailer. You made a video at home and then you sent it to our mini movies team and our visual effects artists turned it into a proper Hollywood style movie trailer. So are you excited to see it? Yes, I can. And I'm guessing that you're a big movie fan, are you? Yeah, absolutely. What are your favourite types of movies? What do you like watching? Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. Wow, yeah, good selection there. So uh, we're going to watch the trailer in just a second. First, though, very important, have you got your snacks ready to watch it with? Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. Perfect. Look at that massive bowl of popcorn. Very nice. <laughs> uh, do you want to do a quick game first? Uh, do you want to try it? Do you want to grab a piece of popcorn? Throw it up and see if you can catch it in your mouth. Did you get it? <laughs> Don't worry, that was a good effort. You can, you can eat it now. Good work. Good. There we go. All right, so if you're ready, Rene, let's watch the Microbot. Here we go. In a world where chores dominate. Stop playing games and do the washing up. Day makes a useful new friend. I wish I had a robot to do all of this for me. Hello. The Microbot. The Microbot. 1654 plus 515 equals 2169. Thank 
that microbot? No problem. Microbot, go and get me some crisps. No problem. Microbot, go tidy my room. Okay. Microbot, do my homework. But even robots have their limits. What's going on? Is there any stopping Microbot? Starring Ride as himself and Madu as the bossy mom. Microbot, I'm sorry, I'll do my own tidying. The microwave timer. It's nearly finished. The Microbot. Oh, that was so good. What was your favorite bit, Renee? My favorite bit was where mum says the microwave timer is nearly finished and then everything went back to normal yeah that was my, cool my second favorite bit is when the fire was dropping from the sky and like my last favorite bit was when that car exploded um, and would you like a real robot friend in real life to help you do all the chores and stuff yeah as long as that doesn't destroy the city it's a good point. Yeah, yeah. It started off as your friend and then obviously yeah, it, it destroyed the city, so it'd have to be a good one. Uh, what kind of chores would you get a real robot to do? Mum already does the washing up um, to do my homework. All right, well, thank you so much. You were so brilliant. Your acting was great. Thank you, Mum, as well. Good acting. I'll say bye for now, uh, but well done and see you soon. Bye, Lou! That's all we have time for, but thanks to everyone that took part and make sure you tune in next time because you could be a mini movies megastar. See you later. Cut. And then grandma sat on the sofa and released a strange smell. It smelled of sadness. Uh, she came home after a long day uh, working at the theme park. And she now has such much fun working at the... Um, uh, for the government.